but hey, we got Shang Chi coming. Yep, this one came out of nowhere. Yeah. Literally jumped out the shadow and slapped you in the face. It was like, hey, I'm here. I mean, I'm gonna be. It's such a weird scenario because it's like a lot of people were under a speculation. All right, Shang Chi's probably gonna be a Netflix series, and well, Shang Chi's actually gonna be a big budget MCU Phase Four film. Like that's a uh, fun fact. Uh, this was a Netflix series, or at least it was a show. <laughs> before it became this movie this was originally developed I, I assumed to go alongside iron fist and everything yep. but then it's just like you know what let's just make it a show yeah i mean just think about it like i understand where marvel is coming at this from and disney they want to get into that asian market which is huge and china specifically mm. is about to overtake the united states as the number one biggest outlet for movies i mean that country alone is saving Venom and making it the biggest Spider-Man related movie ever. So like, yeah, it's saving like one million a day over there or something. Dude, like that. it's insane. Nuts. Like, it's just slowly. If I won't be surprised if it hits a billion at this point. Same. So. Like, it, it's just it's dominating. And at the same time, you think of Shang Shang Chi as a character, right? What a better way if you're struggling a country with some movies to be like, you know what? We have this character who can address the stereotypes. We're going to have an Asian director and an Asian star. And it's part of the big MCU that people are loving. Like it's, it's such a genius move, honestly. Yeah. I, there's only one thing I could say against that. I'm just going to check it. Cause mm -hmm. that's it. Yeah. Crazy rich Asians didn't do so well in China. So that's the thing I was thinking about as well. I'm like, I don't know why that is because i honestly i loved crazy rich asians and i thought i was gonna hate that movie so yeah. like do have yet to see it. it's on my list but it's yeah i don't know why that happened but it seems that china is very um I, I don't know selective because like star wars can't find success there half the mcu movies can't find success there but then like venom and transformers and like jurassic whatever the hell are like the biggest things over there so i'm like what is mm -hmm. the like, how do they figure this out? <laughs> it's got to be just the dumb movies. Yeah. Uh, there's no... No, Jurassic World is dumb as hell. Oh, my God. Venom is dumb as hell. Like, it's got to be... Mm. To be fair, Venom, you can you can kind of fit that, like, Asian... You know, you, I, I can see more why that did really well over there. True. And still does. Yeah. Uh... I don't know. I don't, like, I... you, you'd imagine it would do well in China. You, you would think, China. right? But... I think with the Chinese market, I don't think Hollywood has figured it out yet. Like every year you hear it's like, oh, who's cracking the Asian market? And nobody from here. I guess Sony's cracked the Asian market, but I can guarantee you that whatever movie they put out next is probably not going to be successful there. So it's like, well. <laughs> oh, no, no. Not at all. You know, Morbius is not going to do well in China. Oh, no. Not unless at all. Venom's in it. Yeah. Uh, if Venom's in it, it's, it's got a hope, but. If it's just Morbius, nah. No My way. boy Morbius is going to do dominate the box office. I can't wait. He's going to get the plasma. <laughs> well, I hope they go with that. I really do. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, my God. But she was, what is Sony's next movie coming out? Men in Black? Well, other than Spider-Verse? Yeah. Yeah. Men in Black isn't going to do good there. <laughs> nah. No. Men in Black International, because they weren't international already. But So, I mean... On the Shang-Chi front, remember, like, it was a couple weeks ago, maybe a month and a half ago or so, they completely scrapped whatever the summer 2020 movie was. And I said, yo, I just talked to someone. They said, no, Marvel is going to put something in its place. Is this it? Do you release this as a summer tentpole? Huh. Like, because let's be real. If they start production on this movie in July, August of 2019... A year from then, they can do it because that's how they do every single movie they yeah. do. So, like, yeah, that's very true. Um, I could see it taking that one, but again, I, I still don't know about Guardians because I can still see Guardians making that day. I honestly think they pushed Guardians to May of 2021 for whatever that film is now. Yeah. Oh, because there's that like the Disney parks are opening the whole Guardians and Marvel stuff, aren't they? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like you they're gonna want that movie out, right? For the when synergy that opens up, yeah. Yeah, and like I just can't remember when. I want to say it's either twenty twenty one or twenty twenty two that all that stuff opens. Mm -hmm. I know Chat can help me out with that one. Yeah, but no, it's 
It's a tricky one because I can I imagine Shang Chi's a an easier movie to make. Like, you haven't got to make it massive in terms of CGI. Like, obviously, you can get there'll probably be some CGI, I, but I don't see a world where Shang Chi is produced on more than a hundred million dollars just because of the nature of the character. Like uh, that's not an insult. I'm just yeah. saying like this dude isn't wearing an iron suit flying to space. Like he's in China, and not just with that. Like you're gonna get a lot of tax breaks and cheap productions oh, yeah, yeah. and everything in China. That's why they had like the Chinese international cut of Iron Man because they're like, you know, we could save like 50 million off Iron Man 3. That's like Robert Downey's payday just for doing it over there. They're like, all right, go shoot some stuff over there. You know, like <laughs> they'll have that one scene that no one else would get. Mm -hmm. And like also with that, you have to imagine that Disney is probably looking to build China lots so they can expand into that territory. So like, mm. I, I think this, this movie happens quicker than most people are expecting like it's it's gonna be one of those that they're like no we gotta push this forward so but what do you see a shang chi movie being is the question so, i've seen some people say that you can make it like a bond type movie like a mm -hmm. james bond but i don't know anything about shang chi so i can't really say no. honestly I know very little like I've seen him in a few of the comics that I've read with Iron Fist because as people know I've been on like a huge Iron Fist kick the last like two months and I've talked about it to me Shang-Chi is gonna have to be that type of Bond character yes you know working from that territory but as well as that you address the Fu Manchu thing because Fu Manchu is his well spoiler alert it's a family relative so all right um, if you tackle that and you tackle that stereotype, which now retroactively makes it even better that Iron Man 3 didn't do that with the Mandarin, I think this movie can really stand on its own being like, look, we're going to address the issue and we're going to tackle it full on, but you're also going to get an awesome Marvel movie that speaks to today's audience like they try mm. to do with most of their bigger movies. Um, I, I think I could see what they're doing here and what the story's going to be without necessarily, you know going deep into it so it, it... that's fair but could could you see them like addressing the mandarin thread that they left in all hell the king uh, for this or is what? that a bit too like stereotypical like i think so Asian like Asian. i think they could tie it all around like i really think because the mandarin's still out there it's just you know mm -hmm. like that would be kind of cool honestly be like oh it's the real one and Fu Manchu, let's tie all those together and make it one thing and wrap up the Mandarin. I think that would be honestly a smart decision, so that's my yeah, take yeah. on it at least. I don't know what they're going to do, but... Because yeah. <laughs> uh... obviously, like, not knowing it, like, the only thing I've read of Shang-Chi is the little he was in Hickman's Avengers run for Time Runs Out and all that stuff. Yep, I remember like, that. Yep. Couldn't tell you a bit, and so it's like, mm -hmm. maybe it's a bit stereotypical to just jump to the Mandarin, but it's like, there's no other... Is there a better place to do it than... Exactly. Yep. So, um, yeah, that's our talk on Shang-Chi. Um, I, I should let people know I am going to be picking up some Shang-Chi comics to read. So give it a couple months. I should be like 150 plus comics in. So then I'll know way more what they could do. But that's like my next uh, go to mm. once I'm done. All of going full bandwagoner. Pr pretty much. I, I've pretty much <laughs> like, become Paul with the wagon. So oh, oh, that, that's a deep cut for oh, some of oh, you all oh, lore experts. <laughs> So you, you can have to change that cycle meme for oh. our mean cycle. Oh, no. No. <laughs> it's happening. Well, we should I'm... add just quickly that uh, is David Callahan writing it. Um, oh, yes. Yep. Or doing the script. You know, he was th – there was rumors that he was doing a movie. And from what I know, I think the original one might have been scrapped and he's now doing this one. But mm. I'm not 100% on that. But, you know, uh. he's doing this and the Spider-Verse sequel at the same time. Yep. So. Remind no. me to talk to you after this podcast about something before I forget. <laughs> Just, yeah. Secrets. Secret stuff, folks. <laughs> Next up, 